How's it going, y'all? Happy Friday. Hope you're all having a good one. With this page right here, we're introducing a new character to the story. When I initially wrote the script, this character was, he could have been anybody. I didn't give him no descriptors or anything. But as I was doing the thumbs and roughs, I made him an orc, which was influenced by me suddenly just getting into D and all that stuff because of Baldur's Gate, and as a result, I made Cedrin, that's his name, little dude, C E D R A N, Cedrin. Originally in the script, it was just some no-name survivor amongst all the corpses you see here. But after playing around his little character design, I'm like, I like you. I think I want you to stick around at least for a little bit. Because originally in the script, he was going to get murked on the next page. But that, spoilers, there's conflict coming within the next coming pages of this chapter. So stay tuned for that. But yeah, I just wanted to give Celeste a little companion because she already has a drone. And she has Javi, her cartographer. And now she has a little, let's say Robin, her Konohamaru, whichever one you prefer. This is who Cedron is to her and who will be, he'll become to her later on down in the story. Sort of like her apprentice, what she was to Artemis, that's who Cedron is to her. I think I'm just a sucker for the mentor mentee trope. Like old experienced person, new, somewhat off the hand hinge, little person. Ellie and Joel, Atreus and Kratos, you name it. Eventually I do want to give her a full crew. I do have like certain characters in mind that I've already like outlined and sort of designed. But as far as like getting them introduced in the story, I'll leave that up to the audience voting. See, something I do here, I haven't stated it in a while, but this is sort of like a quote unquote choose your own adventure type deal where the audience gets to vote every so often about what happens next in the story, who appears, who gets got. And sometimes I leave it vague and ambiguous that way there's at least a little bit of surprise for what happens in the story. But yeah, I uh, just like to receive input because one thing about my work or about this story is the element of choice and like having the freedom to choose what you want. Because I'd be pissed too if somebody just stripped my ability to just take these options away, away from me and I didn't have even have the chance to at least see the other options. As far as like other members that are going to join Celeste's crew, obviously we have Helios, her older brother by about three years. And maybe one of the eyes of raw essentially the baddies of this arc it could because the way i have it written out helios is sort of entangled with one of the eyes of raw who allegiances is still on the oh what's the word i'm looking for it's split in between it could go one way or the other as far as she's concerned, but essentially he's partnered up with one of them. And depending on how tight that bond is, depending on what I write, that I will join or come in conflict with Celeste's party in due time. Cause I've drawn Helios on this channel before, but not in terms of the comic. 
right now this is still chapter three chapter four is a continuation of this one which is still a whammy of a chapter because this chapter is 32 pages the next chapter is 36 pages four of those pages are epilogue at the end of the chapter i'm not giving none of that away but i'm excited to see what happens next and then after that i'm going back to 24 page chapters and chapter five yeah yeah chapter five is helios's chapter you get to meet him essentially how i did chapter one where a couple of pages were dedicated to a young celeste the first couple of pages of chapter five will be dedicated to a young helios who was training under apollo since artemis was trained under i mean artemis celeste was trained under artemis and so you get to see the inverse of that relationship i still want to later on down the line probably draw uh or dedicate like a chapter to eos because the decisions she's made in the outline and everything that shaped helios and celeste essentially none of this would have would have happened the position that they're all in couldn't have happened without her being the oldest being the essentially the mold for what was expected of them in the regime they grew up in i've also been considering redoing some character designs i did a really long time ago like when i first got my hands on clip studio paint it was just fresh off the heels of procreate when i had like a ipad mini 2 and just those, you know those pins like on the other side of it where it has this little rubber i want to say eraser but like a little ball on the end and you just use that as a stylus yeah that's how i started out i still use procreate for like my sketches or like illustrations where i don't feel like going super hard with the render but yeah expect some more character designs in the coming weeks mainly pertaining to my original story my first story and my first ocs sci-fi her name is s-a-i f-a-i essentially shortened her first and last name and Rui and Bo who I've never drawn before but eventually you'll get to see all three of those in due time but we're near the end of this one thank you all for watching stay tuned for the next one stay safe and as always stay riding